Yes, Ms. Fuchs. Mr. Harrington makes an excellent point. But did the defendant keep a log of every sperm emission made for his life? Interesting. Why do you ask? Well, unless the defendant attempted to contact every sexual encounter to find out if a child is open from those unions, he has no further claim over this child whatsoever. Why now? Why this sperm? I see your point. And by Mr. Huntington's standards, all mass overturning emissions for the sperm was clearly not seeking an end would be called reckless abandonment. Miss Swiss, you've just won your case. Oh my god. Tell <laughs> 